Okay, let's look at uh, two leagues now. Uh, I'm gonna look at the Bundesliga and La Liga. La Liga, uh, the one game I was really looking forward to was the Barcelona derby, but uh, Messi clearly made sure that there was only one winner. I think this was probably one of the best performances of Barcelona, especially in the first half. Espanyol had next to no chance. Uh, Messi with the free kick of the year. This one, I don't think you can save. Right in the corner. The goalkeeper was there in the corner and the ball is still going in. So <laughs> it was actually funny because uh, uh, the first, for, for, for a second someone thought this went somewhat in the side netting and all in, in the goal. Um, I think Dembele made it then 2-0. Uh, uh, Suarez, goalkeeper, threw the legs of the goalkeeper, deflected in from a very acute angle. 3-0 and then another Messi free kick from a big distance out also looked uh, unreal that it went in 4-0. Uh, the worst things about Barcelona were probably the pink jerseys, but um, in those, if I want to have a pink jersey, that would be the one uh, that I was going for. got to be honest. Atletico beats Alaves 3-0, stays in contention. The other bigger result was that Valencia and Sevilla. Sevilla gets uh, a 1-0 lead. Controls the game, I think Andre Silva even hits the post. Um, but then they concede a late equalizer. Uh, therefore, it ends 1-1 uh, and Sevilla drops vital points. Real Madrid uh, gets Eduesca. Uh, very, I don't want to say e easy win, but they get the early lead through Bale and then uh, they just control the game and make sure that they don't lose. Uh, so uh, that was an interesting result, and then I think the prob the probably the most interesting was um, the 4-4 draw between Eibar and Levante. Uh, Eibar got the lead. Eibar's jerseys look weird, by the way. Uh, sash is way too thick, I have to say. <laughs> Levante with the neon green. <laughs> was uh, was color was a very interesting matchup. But uh, so Eibar gets the lead. Levante turns turns around. Um, it was 2 one and a half time for Levante, then uh, Eibar scores three in a row to make it 4-2, but in the last 15 minutes Levante still manages to equalize and equalize again in the last minute. Uh, as we knew from Italy. So yeah, that was that. Uh, is there any? I think all, those are the big results from Spain. Uh, Barcelona now enjoys a three-point lead over Sevilla, thanks to Sevilla not winning. Uh, they have now 31, Sevilla has uh, 28, uh, Atletico is level with Sevilla also 28, Real has 26 and then it's Alaves and Levante at 24 and 22 respectively. So it's still open but Barcelona setting themselves apart. Going to Germany also I didn't see that much there. Um, we had the big game was of course uh, Dortmund against Schalke. With Dortmund taking an early lead, Schalke getting an equalizer through a penalty. Dortmund finding through Sancho uh, somewhat uh, deserved winner 2 1. The other kind of biggest result was Freiburg against Leipzig 3 0. 3 0 was also uh, Bayern against uh, Nürnberg, which to the surprise of no one, that used to be a much better game. But uh, as long as I am watching Bayern, I'll dominate that one. Uh, Nürnberg, I wish that Nürnberg would be better. 3 uh, 0 also Gladbach Stuttgart. Uh, so Gladbach uh, holds second spot. And Hertha beats Eintracht 1 0. Freiburg beats Leipzig 3 0. This was the stunner of the weekend to me. So. Uh, there you go. We have still Dortmund with a somewhat nice seven point lead over Gladbach. Bayern now in third spot 27, Leipzig 25. Uh, and the uh, other spots are, let me just uh, check. I'm gonna pull it up here. Um, we have Leipzig is still in fourth, Eintracht losing to Hertha, hurt them. Uh, is in fifth and Hertha is in sixth. Uh, we have still Hoffenheim and we are um, uh, on the spots behind where um, Hoffenheim and Wolfsburg play the 2 2 draw. Well, uh, not much happening except for Leipzig.
Leipzig. Le Leipzig got a big win last week and now they completely watched that one again. So, uh, interesting. Also, Eintracht now losing two in, two in a row. Everyone was uh, raving about Eintracht and since then going the other direction. Let me know what you thought about La Liga and uh, the Bundesliga. I think there were many interesting results in there, but um, as I said, in Barcelona now gets a little bit of a uh, lead and in Germany it also seems that there will be three teams and Dortmund is uh, clearly ahead of, of the other two. Um, okay. But it's still in, in, interesting, I mean you have a nine point lead over Bayern, is this enough? I would hope so, but you never know. Let me know your thoughts about these two leagues. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these and I'll talk to you soon.